Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Fish Call. I'm your host Kevin, and I'm fishing this pond, going for bass. No bites yet, but see what I can do. Today is a weird video, kind of, you know, lost intros of the past couple weeks useless intros i should say i mean i've gone fishing three or four times fished a tournament blanked in all of them not one bite not one fish to show for it recorded hours of footage nothing not even a nibble First one is a tournament I had this past Sunday. It was 35 degrees, it was cold, and it was a sustained 20 mile per hour wind. The entire seven hour tournament. So it was, it was miserable. It was terrible. Here, take a look. Well, we're here. Fishing the tournament. Me and Kev. Uh, we had car troubles this morning. I think his alternator went. So we had to get a tow truck, go all the way back to his house, grab my truck, go get the boat, then come to the lake. So we're about three hours late. But we got four hours to fish. Let's see what we can do. Stay tuned. The next intro was my attempt at trout fishing. <laughs> no, I, I'll be canning here. I haven't caught a trout in about three years. I've gone to each Pennsylvania stocking, and I just don't have luck. People around me catch trout all the time. I don't know if I'm using the correct thing, but it seems like everyone else catches them but me. And to top it off, it was a creek I grew up fishing at. My family had a cabin right on this creek. I fished this damn numerous times. I could catch anything there. I'd go there, I'd catch small mouth, large mouth, pickerel, crappy, uh, sometimes striper would be in there, musky would be in there, tons of sunfish. I didn't get nothing. I was fishing for sunfish, trout, anything that would bite, and I, I didn't get one nibble. Here's that. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to try and do a little trout fishing. I know there's smallmouth in here too, so I might get a couple of those. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I grew up on this uh, creek here, pretty much. My family had a cabin in the park here. And uh, I used to fish here all summer long as a kid. Every summer. Every day, every waking hour, every minute of daylight, I was fishing on this dam. So let's see what we can do. Stay tuned. Now when I was a kid, I had no troubles walking, walking across this dam to get to the middle. Let's see uh, how I can do at age 35. Oh God. It's uh, it's slipperier, slipperier than I remember. Colder too. So uh, let's t let's take this a little slow and easy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god. Ah, all right. All right, that was the hard part. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, Alright. Whoa. I think I had better footing as a young child. Oh boy. Alright. Whew. Water's pretty cold. Alright. Okay. 
We made it. We made it to the middle where there's no running water. Got a few spots to stand and catch some fish. Alright, let's get out there. The next one was just yesterday. I took my family to a pond in the area and I've heard that there is carp in this pond. I heard there's also channel catfish in this pond. Now we tried everything. We chummed with corn. We threw corn out there, but we stayed there for about two hours. Not a bite. My son was catching bluegill. He was helping my daughter catch bluegill. But as for any uh, nice sized fish, no, we blanked on that one too. Take a look. Back to another episode of Fishing with Fish Call. Uh, I'm here with the family. We're on a pond. Uh, I hear there's carp in here. I'm not sure. Carp and catfish. So I have two rods out here with corn. Kevin's over there with my youngest daughter trying to catch some sunnies for her. And I have a live bluegill on a bobber rod. Just, if there's any big catfish or bass in here, maybe something will go after it. It's only about three inches, so it's like perfect bite size. So let's see what we can do. Stay tuned. There's a bass sitting right there. Maybe if I can call my shot, maybe I can get it. Let's see. Oh, he's looking at it. He's going for it. Oh, there he goes. He's got it. He's got it. Here we go. Got him. Here we go. And that, folks, is my first real bass of 2023. <laughs> I've caught bass, scrappy fishing and stuff, but that's a better one. Back he goes. Well, at least this video wasn't a complete loss. I caught that nice bass. It's about 12, 13 inches. So, thank you for watching. This is another episode of Fishing with Fish Call. I'm your host, Kevin. Peace out.